Welcome to Foreigner Making Money in the Philippines channel. In today's video we will look at how Filipinos grow corn with options and methods. Growing corn can be an option for a foreigner to produce income in the Philippines if they have land available to them which is leased to them or the land is owned by a Filipino they are involved with such as they are married to or in a relationship with. The number values in this video are based on government surveys conducted in the Philippines. Farm Practices Growing Corn Method of Land Preparation Nationwide, about 58.25% of corn farmers used man-animal labor in plowing while 15.48% utilized man-machine labor. The prime purpose of plowing is to turn over the uppermost soil bringing fresh nutrients to the surface while burying weeds and crop remains to decay. In Rotovatine, about 3.18% employed two-wheel and four-wheel tractors. Rotovating is breaking up the whole layer of topsoil so to decompact it and to turn it over. To break the soil down further than just plowing. In the case of harrowing, 40.32% of corn farmers utilized man-animal labor while 5.79% used man-machine labor. In agriculture, a harrow, often called a set of harrows, is an implement for breaking up and smoothing out the surface of the soil. In this way it is distinct in its effect from the plow, which is used for deeper tillage. Harrowing is often carried out on fields to follow the rough finish left by plowing operations. The purpose of this harrowing is generally to break up clods, lumps of soil, and to provide a finer finish. To produce a good tilth or soil structure that is suitable for seedbed use. Coarser harrowing may also be used to remove weeds and to cover seed after sowing. Harrows differ from cultivators in that they disturb the whole surface of the soil, such as to prepare a seed bed, instead of disturbing only narrow trails that skirt crop rows, to kill weeds. The usage of man-animal labor in furrowing was reported by 63.73% while a few or 2.94% utilized man-machine labor. Furrowing is the use of a implement or machine to cut into and turn over the sod, a piece of land, using a blade implement. Method of Fertilizer Application Across the country, fertilizer application through side dressing method was reported by 53.41% of the sample corn farmers. Side dressing is the application of fertilizers in a shallow furrow or band along the side of the row crops or in a circle around individual plants. Side dressing gives extra nutrients to the plant crops so that they can produce to their full potential. Basal application was practiced by 30.79% and top dressing by 27.14%. Basal application of fertilizer is the broadcasting at sowing or planting. The main benefits of broadcasting fertilizers at sowing time are to uniformly distribute the fertilizer over the field, and to mix it with soil. Spreading of fertilizer in standing crops without considering the crop rows is termed as top dressing. Method of Weeding Nationwide 59.13% of corn farmers removed weeds manually. Chemical spraying was employed by 30%. Method of shelling. Shelling of corn was done manually by 58.73% of corn farmers in the country. There were 33.57% who shelled corn mechanically. A corn sheller is a handheld device or a piece of machinery to shell corn kernels off the cob for feeding to livestock or for other uses. The operation of a corn sheller is similar to a threshing machine, 
but with some differences to deal with larger grain size and other differences of corn compared to wheat and other crops. Corn shellers can be powered by a hand crank, a tractor, a stationary engine, or by an electric motor. Whole corn cobs are fed in. They are pulled between two toothed wheels, usually made of metal. Each wheel spins the opposite direction of the other. The teeth pull the kernels off the cob until there are no kernels left. The kernels fall out through a screen into a container, such as a bucket, placed underneath the machine. The cob is then ejected out, since it cannot pass through the screen. Some models have a walker, similar to a threshing machine or combine to take the cobs out. Method of drying At the national level, about 84.52% of corn farmers did solar drying while 0.08% employed mechanical drying. A common method is to place the corn on a tarpaulin on the concrete highway. Technically this is illegal but a common practice. Some farmers have constructed their own concrete drying pad to dry the corn on. Use of yield enhancing inputs. The solid type of organic fertilizer was used by only few corn farmers. Across the country, about 1.59% of corn farmers applied animal manure and 0.71% used other solid organic fertilizers like compost, vermicast, guano, green friend, well grow bioorganic and durabloom. For the solid type of inorganic fertilizers, the more popular grades were urea, 46-0-0 and complete, 14-14-14, as reported by 43.02% and 33.17% of the corn farmers, respectively. The application of ammonium sulfate, 21-0-0, and ammonium phosphate, 16-20-0 was also cited by 18.65 to 20.71%. Less than 1% of the corn farmers used liquid inorganic fertilizers like humus and green bee. Likewise, few corn farmers at less than 1% reported the use of solid and liquid inorganic foliar fertilizers. Use of yield protecting inputs. At the national level, the liquid type of herbicides, weedicides was used by 31.35% of corn farmers. The usage of liquid form of insecticides and fungicides was cited by 3.25% and 0.08%, respectively. Only 3.49% of Corn farmers applied the solid form of herbicides weedicides, insecticides, fungicides and rodenticides. Mode of acquisition of material inputs. Nationwide, 50.79% of corn farmers used the seeds from their own produce. There were 39.12% who purchased seeds and 8.65% received seeds from private individuals, organizations and 1.51% received seeds from the government, LGUDARFO, Local Government Unit, Department of Agriculture, Regional Field Office. Of the total number of corn farmers who purchased seeds, 36.98% resorted to cash payment while 2.14% paid in kind. Organic fertilizers were purchased in cash as reported by 1.67% of corn farmers across the country. Only less than 1% cited producing their own organic fertilizers or received from DARFO and LGUS.
Among the corn farmers who purchased their inorganic fertilizers, 71.27% paid these inputs in cash while 0.48% paid in kind. So today you got an idea of the popular methods of growing corn in the Philippines and some ideas on how to do it if you are looking for another income stream. Well whatever you decide to do, best of luck in any investment or business venture you wish to be involved in. A quick plug. If you got value out of this video, please like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell to ensure you receive notifications as soon as a new video is released. Please see the rest of my playlist with other business ventures the foreigner can enter into to make money in the Philippines. Check out our other videos on the expat foreigner making money in the Philippines channel on tips and how to produce an income living in the Philippines. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.